I am a creator. I always have been. I've loved art since I was a little boy. And for years, I thought that that's what I would grow up to do. And over the years, of course, outside influences and voices got in my ear and got in my head and convinced me that I should be doing other things. And I convinced myself that I should be doing other things. And so here I am, 14 years after high school, realizing that I should be doing the thing that I originally wanted to be doing. And that's art and creating. But more than that, Ashley and I decided a few years ago to make some lifestyle changes. We both love art. She loves art as much as I do. And we weren't doing any. And we both could tell that it was wearing on us to not be fulfilling any of our passions, to not be painting or drawing or, you know, doing any kind of art. And so we said, Let, let's make some changes. You know, what kind of life do we want to be living? And we made a plan and we wrote those things down and we said, These, this is how we want to live. This is what we want our life to look like in so many years, let's do this. And bringing art back into our life as a center point was one of those things, and we did. And it took time before it was a consistent thing in our life. It has slowly crept back and taken over every single thing that we do. But the thing is, it's so much more than just that. It's a lifestyle, and not just a lifestyle of art, but a lifestyle created by art. And what I mean by that is we're now using art to not just create a lifestyle where we're doing it, but where we're living it, where it's our jobs, where it permeates every single thing that we do. And we're embarking on the strangest and weirdest adventures that we have ever embarked on. And I'm sure that most of our friends and family probably think that we're crazy. And we are, but that's what's so fun about it. I don't want to live like the status quo. I don't want to be like everybody else. I'm not like everybody else. I have things inside of me that I want to do that I can't do by being somebody else's employee, that I can't do by working you know, a desk job. And so what we're doing is instead of just having art be a hobby in our life, we're making it a center point. And we're using it to not just create art, but to create a life. Creating art, creating a business, creating wealth, creating the lifestyle that we want to be living. And so that's where I'm gonna leave this episode because there's so much more to say, there's so much more to show. We've been busy. Our house is full of art, it's full of plants, it's full of art pieces. I've been making videos, I love it. And there's just so much to show you. And so that's where this vlog is gonna go. Not just to show you our art, but to show you the process. Because that's where we're at. We're at the process of making that lifestyle happen. And so I wanna show you that process. And hopefully if you're watching this, you'll be inspired. Because I know I was afraid to do the thing that I actually wanted to do. And so hopefully I can help you get through that fear. So if you're a creator, and you've been holding yourself back, and you've been you know, maybe tricking yourself or listening to the outside opinion, then I hope that you'll pay attention and watch as we try and probably fail and struggle, but try as hard as we can to live the life that we wanna live. So that's it, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna live to create, and I'm gonna create to live. That's it, I hope you liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe because there's so much more coming up. I'm also gonna, oh, I'm also gonna be featuring some artists. I'm gonna talk to some people that are already living the dream, see what they did, pick their brain, find out how they did it. <clears throat> so if you like this episode, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more content, especially if you're a creator, you're gonna wanna pay attention and see you next time.